What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, well, well, well. Well, well, well. We seem to have a change of heart when it comes to Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil Hitech Lomachenko, who is now 17 wins, two losses, no draw, 11 wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, five foot six with a 68, 66 inch arm reach. When it comes to Vasil Lomachenko, and is it a change of heart? Or is it what we thought it was between Lomachenko and undefeated, undisputed lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who has 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, 23 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch homage. Is there a change of heart going on? Or is it what we thought it was? And Lomachenko, he faced off against Jermaine Ortiz last night and a lackluster performance to say the least. I actually thought if Jermaine Ortiz won the fight seven rounds to five, maybe even more. Definitely was no more than a draw and I didn't see Lomachenko win a unanimous decision, 117, 111, or 112, whichever that was, the judge had it, okay, over Jermaine Ortiz, okay? Uh, Jermaine Ortiz was coming into the fight, 16 wins, no losses, one draw, eight wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, five foot eight with a 69 inch arm each, okay? Jermaine Ortiz is a former sparring partner of Vasil Lomachenko, he helped prepare Vasil Lomachenko for Vasil Lomachenko's fight uh, with former IBF lightweight world champion star boxer Richard Comey, right? And uh, very familiar with one another. Um, and Jermaine Ortiz was coming off of the, one of the biggest wins or the biggest win in his career, defeating former WBO super featherweight world champion star boxer Jamal Herring, to which Jermaine Ortiz, he fantastic performance against Jamal Henry announced himself to the world and then he truly announced himself to the world yesterday with his uh, aggression uh, his effectiveness and what he was doing against the quote unquote matrix Lomachenko right he had a great outing great performance great showing and I thought he won the fight many people thought he won the fight but he mimicked with former unified lightweight world champion superstar boxer Teofimo Lopez, who is now 17 wins, one loss, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout. He is 25 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach. So they're similar in stature, Teofimo Lopez and uh, Jermaine Ortiz. And Jermaine Ortiz used the exact same style. And Lomachenko had a lackluster performance, to say the least. He just didn't look great, okay? And Devin Haney has been calling out Lomachenko for quite some time, right? For a long time. Some people could turn a blind eye to it or pretend they don't remember, right? Or try to control the narrative. But the fact is, Devin Haney's been calling him out for a while, okay? Now, going into this fight, Lomachenko seemed to really never come face to face with Devin Haney, right? And going into this fight, Vasil Lomachenko was very confident about fighting Devin Haney, okay? To the point where uh, Lomachenko, he stated that he would fight Devin Haney anywhere, any place, any time, because Devin Haney is the undisputed lightweight champion, okay? And Devin Haney has uh, what he wants, and Devin Haney essentially uh, is going to call the shots, right? So Lomachenko, he stated that you know, uh, he will fight Devin Haney any place, anywhere, right? This is what Vasil Lomachenko had to say, right? So he had this to say, I don't care about the place, absolutely don't care about the time. I'd accept a rematch clause with Devin Haney. I will be ready for any of, of his conditions. Let me explain something. He's the undisputed champion. He is the A side. I need this uh, moment more than he does. So Lomachenko saying, I need this fight in this moment more than Devin Haney does, right? Oh, but on the contrary, when Lomachenko came face to face with Devin Haney, okay? 
when he came face to face with Devin Haney and he saw Devin Haney in the ring, this is what Lomachenko had to say. Is this lightweight? It's a lightweight. Huh? No, it's heavyweight. <laughs> All right. Get it on. You have said. Is this lightweight? Is this lightweight? <laughs> it's a big lightweight. Huh? No, it's heavyweight. <laughs> now Devin Haney's a heavyweight. I told you guys they was putting in a built-in excuse when legendary promoter, top ranked CEO Bob Arum stated that um, uh, uh, we have to see the mentality and the mental space that Lomachenko was in and how he performs against Jermaine Ortiz before he goes into a fight with Devin Haney immediately following this fight. Should he be victorious? Now, leading up to this, Bob Arum, like Lomachenko, was saying that we want to make the Devin Haney-Lomachenko fight next. Hands down, right? No doubt about it. The fight to be made next is Devin Haney versus Vasil Lomachenko. That's the fight we want to make. Lomachenko wants the belts. Like Lomachenko said, this is an opportunity that I must have. Now, Lomachenko is saying, and his team is saying, they have to go to the drawing board? Because they came face to face with Devin Haney, and he called him a heavyweight. We know he's a lightweight, right? But then he never said that Luke Campbell, who he fought for the vacant WBC title as he should not have, okay? But he fought Luke Campbell for the vacant WBC title, right? Okay, and uh, uh, Luke Campbell is a southpaw, right? Luke Campbell is just as big as Devin Haney is, okay? Luke Campbell is five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch army, same exact measurables. Okay, Luke Campbell has compared to Devin Haney. Same exact measurables. Okay, and Lomachenko never mentioned or referenced Luke Campbell's size. And I want y'all to see something. I want y'all to see the size difference between uh, Luke Campbell and Lomachenko. Look how big Luke Campbell is, okay, to Vasil Lomachenko. Look at the size difference. Enormous size difference between Luke Campbell and Lomachenko, right? You see the size difference there. Never heard him once mention that Luke Campbell was a heavyweight, right? Just to show you another picture of the size difference between Lomachenko and Luke Campbell, right? And you never once heard him reference that Luke Campbell was a heavyweight, right? You see the size difference? Is Luke Campbell a heavyweight? No, he never once referenced Luke Campbell as being a heavyweight, right? Not one time did Vasil Lomachenko say, oh, Luke Campbell must be a heavyweight. Luke Campbell must be a heavyweight. But when it comes to him and Devin Haney, look at the size difference between Luke Campbell and Lomachenko. Did he once say that Luke Campbell was a heavyweight? Not once, right? Uh, uh, let me tell you why. He never referenced Luke Campbell being a heavyweight because Luke Campbell don't have the skill set that Devin Haney has. It's not that he's a heavyweight. It's that he's a skillful uh, uh, fighter that's bigger than he is. Okay? So that's why he knew Luke Campbell's Olympic gold medalist. Okay? Uh, uh, Luke Campbell is a southpaw. He's skilled. You know, he's talented. A British superstar, star boxer. Right? He, he knows this. But he knew he had an advantage, as I told you guys. Okay, as I told you guys, right? Now, <clears throat> now look at Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Is that is that size difference? Luke Campbell looks bit way bigger than Devin Haney. And Luke Campbell was in shape already, preparing for a fight. Look at Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Now Devin Haney's clearly bigger, but Luke Campbell looked bigger than Loma than uh than um Devin Haney does. Right? But Luke, I told you guys, it's the front running mentality. You understand what I'm trying to tell y'all? Look at Devin Haney's size compared to Lomachenko's size. Right? It's not much difference than him and Luke Campbell, if any. And if it is, Luke Campbell is actually bigger than Devin Haney, as I told you guys, right? The difference is Luke Campbell is not as skilled and talented as Devin Haney. So he ain't gonna reference Luke Campbell as a heavyweight because Luke Campbell don't represent the same threat that Devin Haney represents because Luke Campbell, again, like I said, is not as skilled, is not as talented 
is not as athletically gifted as Devin Haney. So now his team is talking about they have to go to the drawing board. They have to uh, uh, see, you know, uh, um, make sure, you know, this is what they're going to do next. You know, he got to be fully prepared for Devin Haney. Now, keep in mind, this is the same Devin Haney that people are saying has no chin. He's chinny, right? Uh, th this is the same Devin Haney that uh, uh, just a few fights ago, right? Uh, just a few fights ago, right? Um, everybody was saying Devin Haney was too green no, and not experienced, okay? That's what everybody was saying. And now, all of a sudden, he has to be fully prepared. But this goes back to what we, I've been telling you, right? Is that Lomachenko understands and sees the skill set, right? He understands the difference in the skill set, right? He understands the talent of Devin Haney. He understands, I told you guys, Lomachenko is a front runner. When Lomachenko has the advantage in hand speed, he has the advantage in foot speed, you know, uh, and with his ring IQ, oh, Lomachenko, he, he, he's the front runner. He's gonna look great. He's gonna look like the Matrix. But when he don't have that advantage in hand speed, you know, uh, uh, he don't have that advantage in, in foot speed. Well, it looks completely different. Hence the reason why after he beat Luke Campbell, okay, he didn't choose to fight Devin Haney. It was mandatory and he became a uh, um, franchise. Hence the reason why everybody maneuvers around Devin Haney because he's big, he's young, he's athletic, he's talented, he has a high ring IQ and that presents a major problem, period. And so now, uh, you see Ryan Garcia says, you know, he maybe he just uh, out his element. You see Shakur say he looked too, too old, too slow, right? Uh, I told you guys, it's not that. It's that when I picked Teofimo Lopez to beat Vasil Lomachenko, right? When I picked Teofimo Lopez to beat Vasil Lomachenko, you know why? He can match him in foot speed, hand speed, athletic ability, and Tiafima Lopez is, has a high ring IQ. You understand? Tiafima Lopez has a very high ring IQ, right? And he can box, and he has power. And that's a, that's a problem for Vasil Lomachenko, period. And Vasil Lomachenko and everybody else, they now know, especially after what they saw against Jermaine Ortiz, right? What they saw from Jermaine Ortiz, now they all are saying to themselves, the Tiafima Lopez fight, because everybody used the, the shoulder injury. When he lost to Tiafimo Lopez, it was his shoulder, right? Well, uh, Lomachenko had a bad shoulder. He should have had shoulder surgery. He should have fought, he shouldn't have fought Tiafimo Lopez till he got that fixed, right? That's what everybody said. You understand what I'm saying? But now you've seen the Jermaine Ortiz fight look identical to the Tiafimo Lopez fight and he didn't have no shoulder injury. He didn't have a shoulder injury. He healed the shoulder, right? Didn't everybody say he's back now? Right? After he beat uh, uh, Nakatani and Richard Comey, right? Everybody said, you know, uh, he was back. He looked like his old self, right? Well, he, what happened? The shoulder, you can't use a shoulder injury now. It looked identical to the Tiafimo Lopez fight, period. And Devin Haney's gonna win this fight against Lomachenko because Lomachenko and his team, they have to take the fight now. They have to. What direction are they gonna go in? A tune up? That's gonna look absolutely terrible for them, right? They can't. They gotta take the fight, okay? And so, with that said, Devin Haney's gonna beat him. But once he beat him, they're gonna tell you how old he is. But keep in mind, they told you he was just as good and great as Floyd Mayweather, Pennell Whitaker, and Sugar Ray Leonard, and Muhammad Ali. Right? Well, when they was when Floyd Mayweather was thirty four, it ain't age wasn't nobody talked about Floyd Mayweather's age. He beat Canelo when he was thirty, almost thirty seven years old, and pitched the shutout. So we can't use that as an excuse. Well, I told you they was going to use the fact that he was dealing with the situation in Ukraine and Russia. That was going to be a reason why. No, he looked the exact same as he did when he fought Tiafimo Lopez. And that wasn't a factor, period. But I know it was his shoulder. So Devin Haney's not gonna get the credit he deserves when he beats Vasil Lomachenko because they are gonna fight. 
and he is going to beat Vasil Lomachenko. He's not going to get the credit he deserves, okay? Uh, and then he's going to move up in weight, period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.